So if you've been on Roblox these past few days, you know that Roblox has been running an event called The Hunt. And I asked you guys what you guys thought about the event, and most of you guys said that it was more mid than me, which is pretty damn mid. However, Roblox asked all the star creators what they thought about the event, and I forwarded some of your guys' replies to them in also a few videos. And since it's like Roblox's first event in like three years, I think we have to cut them a little bit of slack. But today, we're going to be talking about the games that you probably should avoid during this event. Because in order to get the best item, the crown, you have to get 95 badges and currently at the time of writing this i think i have around 78 of them and so far i have brute forced my way through every hard game possible just so i can tell you guys not to play them because thankfully if you're gonna grind this event you can skip out on five games because the crown only requires you to get 95 badges so let's start off with a game i haven't played yet but i've heard has been absolutely awful to literally everybody who's ever touched it this won't be included in the top five but this is kind of more like an honorable mention just because i I really haven't played it yet and i haven't seen how bad this event actually is the game in question is called strongest battlegrounds and from what i've heard it has been absolutely miserable to get this badge now once again i would like to say i have not played this one yet and i probably won't play it because i still have the five games i can skip out on because after putting a combined total of 28 hours in this event so far i don't know how much more i can take i'm going clinically insane but coming at number five we have obby but you're on a bike now this game inherently isn't that hard it's just really time consuming Consuming. If you have played the game before, I would say completely ignore this and just actually just go ahead and do it. And I would say replace this one with Strongest Battlegrounds. However, if you're like me and you only have done the first world, you have to do worlds one through four and you have to do world one under 13 minutes, which honestly, if you can't do that, well, then maybe you shouldn't be playing the event in the first place. However, since you have to do worlds one through four, it's actually rather time consuming because if each obby takes you around 10 to 15 minutes, you're looking at a solid almost an hour of just grinding that and that's not the only requirement another requirement you have to do is go to the race world and get a top three placement which once again if you are bad at this and if you're not good at obvious this one is going to be really really difficult thankfully however i was able to get it on my first try because i'm absolutely a god but i've had a lot of people come to my chat and complain about how bad this one is purely because they cannot get the top three placement but once again if you have already completed worlds one through four i would say go ahead and just bite the bullet and do it it. But really for these next ones, I really can't say the same thing because I really doubt anybody who's watching this channel is probably playing these games. So coming in at number four, we have Fruit Battlegrounds. Now I did this one off stream in my own personal free time because I heard this one was also pretty miserable and honestly it was. If you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how to navigate the quest, you are going to be stuck here for a while. But the quest essentially requires you to kill two people in a streak, which on paper doesn't sound that bad until you realize that you have to be not only level 15 but all the abilities are gated behind more levels and the only way to get more levels in this game is to repeatedly spam your ability over and over and over again it really comes down to the fact that you're not even playing the game at this point you are literally just spamming abilities so you can unlock more abilities so you can actually do the thing thankfully though i think i was able to get this one under an hour but i honestly did not have any fun doing it and i got kind of mad because all the people that were already playing this game and have all the abilities they're gonna absolutely crush you and there's really no chance there is it is so unbelievably unfair to new players it really makes me wonder how this one even got an event in the first place because if anybody at roblox played this game i don't think anybody would green light this game and you'll notice over time with a lot of these games, they're really just designed to keep you in for at least 20 minutes. So if you're a Roblox premium player, they get some sweet, sweet Robux for it. There is definitely a huge incentive for Roblox developers to make their game more grindy than better because it'll keep players in there for a longer time, hence boosting their numbers. Coming in at number three, you have Treasure Hunting Simulator or really just any simulator game of your choosing. But I noticed that this one is particularly grindy and kind of bad. Unless you have somebody actually trading to you some good items, you're going to be here for quite a long time thankfully however i was able to get in and out in under 30 minutes just because the fact that i was streaming and i had people giving me really good items that could instantly mine everything however i have heard from some of my viewers that it took them upwards of three hours to get this achievement done this is because it makes you dig certain chests which can only be found at certain depth levels and the progression in this game is very slow very monotonous and not really fun at all even as somebody who had the items and could instantly mine sand it 
it was still really miserable because of the lack of storage you have. This is also amplified by the fact that digging takes so unbelievably long. If you don't have extra items with you, I don't know how you're going to do it. Some of the chests that you actually have to mine take upwards of like a thousand mines to get, which means if you're someone who doesn't really have that many good things, it's basically GG. You're going to be sitting there. You're going to be grinding this for a while. And that's also not even mentioning the fact that the sand at the lower levels takes over like, I want to say a hundred to mine. It is ridiculous. It is awful. I do not play this one. Coming in at number two, we have gunfight arena. Now this one is particularly painful if you're not good at FPSs. I will say though that me personally, I do not really have any problems doing this one because I'm reasonably good at FPSs and you'll see me on top of the lobby basically every game that I'm in. But that's also because I've been playing FPSs literally all of my life and I have thousands of puns, thousands of hours in these type of games. But even with all that skill and experience that I have in FPSs, I still think that this one is really miserable to get even if you're good at them. Because this achievement is inherently flawed because you have to be playing on the crossroads map and on top of that you have to kill people and collect their item. There are five items that have a chance of dropping when you kill somebody. Whenever you kill them, you have to actually go to their dead body and pick it up. And with the way that gunfight arena is structured, that is a horrible thing. Because the map is actually crossroads and if you know anything about crossroads, crossroads is a very open map. And for this event in particular, this is probably one of the worst maps you can do because there's absolutely no cover anywhere. In order to get from your spawn to the enemy spawn, you have to run through a very large open field. So good luck not getting shot. And if you do even make it across the other side and you do get some kills, you still have to physically go on their bodies and pick them up. So if you're killing a big group of people near their spawn, there's a slight chance that they'll actually spawn back in and also kill you on top of that. And you won't get any of them. Once again, I have no clue how anybody's actually supposed to be getting these because if you are not any good at FPS games, you're screwed with this one. You really just have to skip it. It. And even with all that, you're also not even factoring the RNG that goes into it because there's also five items that I mentioned earlier that are completely different and you have to get 10 of each. So even if you are able to actually pick up some of the items that are being dropped, good luck finding the ones that you need after you're like 40 kills in. It is quite miserable. But honestly, nothing compares to my number one pick here, Project Smash. Now, words cannot describe how much this one sucks. This one, it, it just blows. It feels like with this one, the Project Smash developer Developers got the message from Roblox. Hey, do you want to participate in the hunt? And they're like, yeah, okay, we'll do that. And they spent five minutes making the event. I, I, I swear there is no new content. There is nothing. You want to know what you have to do in order to get this badge? You have to sit and wait. That's all you do. There is nothing to do with the game itself. You don't have to kill people. You don't have to do anything. You just have to sit and wait and wait for an egg to spawn in, which doesn't sound that bad up until you realize there are 16 people that also are waiting for this egg to drop and it spawns only once every 10 minutes. So if an entire lobby of people were to coordinate together and all share an egg, it would take 160 minutes for you to actually get your egg. And that's once again, not accounting for the fact that people are leaving and rejoining constantly. Unless you know directly where the egg is going to spawn, your chances of getting this egg is basically zero. I did this one on stream and it took me over an hour to do it. And the entire hour, I was just, I, I was, I was, I was yapping, man. I was a D1 hater. There is a possibility that you could be lucky and you could be the one person in the lobby that actually gets the egg first try. However, objectively, waiting for 10 minutes for an egg that only one person can get in a lobby of 16 people is just really lazy. It's not remotely fun, it's stupid, and it should have never been in the event in the first place. But let me know in the comments what you guys have done and what events that you think that we should avoid. And if you haven't started the hunt yet, I suggest looking at the comment section because everybody's skills are a little bit different and it might be better just to get more opinions than just mine on this one. But I would like to end this one on a positive note because this this event really isn't that bad. It's just kind of tedious. And Roblox has actually reached out to the star creators and they're asking us for our opinions. So the next event is actually going to be somewhat good. And as I said before, I actually ran a poll and I actually forwarded some of your guys' top comments directly to Roblox along with my own critiques about these games and the event in general. So hopefully, hopefully Roblox listens and next event will be a lot better. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my gap session and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.